Sister wives, Peyton rubs fans' noses in it. Use me and make me bigger. I will explain everything. Watch this video until end. Hey lovely viewers, welcome to my shocking news channel. Sister Wives star Peyton Brown seems to enjoy the ride of his newfound fame. But he may enjoy this too much as some fans suggest his attitude starts to border on cocky as he dishes out family secrets. In one of his latest videos, Peyton says that some people take what he says and then, twist. It for their advantage. They also, paint me as a bad guy. Then as it sounds like Peyton Brown gears up for a reprimand, he pauses and dares you to, go for it. It sounds like any publicity is good publicity for this son of the sister wives tribe. Yes, the 23-year-old son of Christine Brown and Cody Brown wants you to keep up the chatter. Whether it's good, bad, or indifferent he's liking the result of fame. So Peyton offers the shout out of, use me make me bigger. Peyton, becomes fountain of information. Talk about a breakout star. Well, sister wives spawned one overnight with Peyton Brown. He's always been part of the Brown family so he's not new to the viewers. But today fans can't seem to get enough of him. And from what the sister wives son has to say, he's loving every minute of it. He seems very interested in seeing the TLC series that features his family go on a little longer. He recently said how drama brings on the fans. So, with the amount of drama on the screen last season, Peyton predicts several seasons more for the show. So, it seems that between the seasons, Peyton became the unofficial family spokesperson. Sister Wives, Burning Questions Answered Peyton Brown has offered up more info in the last few weeks while answering some of the fans' questions. Recently he confirmed for the fans what they always thought in the first place. When asked why the family moved to Flagstaff, Peyton said there were a lot of reasons. When a fan asked if Robin Brown had anything to do with the move, he said that she was one of those reasons. A few days before this he explained his relationship with his dad's youngest wife as weird, according to the son. He also offered up how his father never got vaccinated for COVID. That's after Cody ordered his family to abide by the strict rules he laid out. The sister wife's patriarch claimed he follows the CDC's rules to the max. But he didn't heed the warning to get your vaccination. This sudden bout of fame started when Peyton made headlines recently for a public jab at Robin Brown. He donned a t-shirt that said, What does the nanny do? This was a question Christine asked that went viral. From there it seems Peyton is liking his newfound fame. He claims you can take his words and do what you will with them. He dares you to do so and tells you to have fun while doing it. So there you have it. A star is born. Sister Wives star Cody. Brown has competition from his son Peyton Brown today and to top it off he's peeved. Peyton mocking Cody's fourth wife seemed to put the dad of 18 in a bad mood. The 23-year-old son said his dad wasn't happy with his recent jab with a t-shirt. But there may be more to Cody's anger today than the joke his son recently conjured up about Robin Brown. Sister wives, Peyton Brown to the rescue. It looks like Peyton did something Cody couldn't do. That's rally the sister wives fans. Today. So, the father who is famous for his hair pampering might be turning a shade of green. It could be his son's newfound popularity is getting under this dad's skin. Who needs Cody or TLC when Peyton Brown is around? The 23-year-old son of Cody and Christine Brown is a treasure trove of information these days. In the last month, some of his social media posts register six figures in views. He's amassed close to 2 million likes for his TikTok clips as well. So, what did Peyton Brown do that Cody Brown failed at recently? This young man has kept the spark going for the fans of the Sister Wives series. He's most likely done a better job than any elaborate advertising campaign could do. Most of all, he's done this on his own, without Cody Brown. It might have put him at odds with his father. But he's doing wonders for the Sister Wives show. An apple fell under Cody Brown's tree, then rolled away. Not only does Peyton Brown spill things that might not see the light of day if it were up to Cody, but he's fun to watch. The gregarious young man uses a mix of sarcasm when telling tales out of school. Plus, he's comical at times. Married to all of his wives, they had what's called a covenant with their church. 
Feeling that the marriage is over, and not wanting to be sealed to Cody for eternity, Mary went to see the church leaders to officially end the marriage. When Mary told Cody about it, he basically told her that he didn't recognize the authority of the church, and didn't intend to join her on a visit with church leaders. Cody talked about how he wishes Mary could just go away, she did leave him, as seen in the TLC UK clip above, but she seems intent on going to the church to sever their union officially. Mary grew up in a polygamous family, but it's hard to imagine that Mary still believes in church teachings or in the authority of the church elders. She may just be pushing the church issues to punish Cody for abandoning her. Since Sister Wives season 19 was filmed a while ago, it started filming back before Christine met her now husband, David Woolley. Christine met David soon after leaving Cody, and they dated for less than a year before moving in together. David is a widower with eight children and ten grandchildren, so they have a massive blended family. It wasn't long before Christine and David were engaged and then married in a televised wedding that aired on TLC. Though, David initially expressed no interest in appearing in Sister Wives, he must have changed his mind, because his relationship with Christine would be one of the season's main storylines. At the end of the last episode, TLC aired scenes from this season, which included a promise that David would even get to meet Cody at some point. This is sure to be deliciously awkward. With four wives and 18 children, the family needed lots of living space. Things were easier in some ways when they all lived under one roof, but living in four separate homes was a nightmare, especially for Cody, who had to drive back and forth between them. Needing room to grow, the family purchased a large parcel of land at Coyote Pass, Arizona. Cody and his four wives had planned to build four separate homes on the land, but the family imploded before they broke ground. The land at Coyote Pass has become a symbol of the Brown family's slow but sure disintegration. During an early episode of Sister Wives Season 19, fans were updated on the land's status. While Cody's third wife, Christine Brown, was able to sell her share of the land back to Cody, his first and second wives, Mary Brown and Janelle Brown, are stuck holding the bag. With a large payment due, the Browns will have to figure out if they want to keep paying for the land or risk losing it. The fight over what to do with this land will be a big part of the new season. During an early episode of Sister Wives Season 19, Janelle traveled to Montana where she and her daughter, Maddie Brush, looked at a piece of land that they're considering purchasing together. Maddie and her husband, Caleb Brush, have two small children and are expecting their third child. Janelle had always dreamed of having her own farm where she could raise animals and grow food, but Cody wanted to live in a bustling city. It was one of the many ways in which the two were incompatible. Now that Janelle is on her own, she can do whatever she wants, and buying a piece of property alongside her beloved daughter and grandchildren may be the best thing that ever happened to her. As bad as Cody's relationships with his wives had been, his relationships with some of his adult children are equally terrible. Cody isn't on speaking terms with several of his children. Sister Wives Season 19 opens with Cody having basically no relationship with Maddie or her children. Though he was a 28-year-old, McKelty Brown's baby shower, that seemed to be due to the fact that McKelty is close to Robin. Also, many fans see Pete in his genuine. Another reason for the viewers of the Sister Wives show to love him is his dedication to his mom, Christine. He recently dedicated a video to his, incredible, mom. He claims fans only see part of his fun-loving mom on the show. At home without the cameras, she's even more of a supermom than she is on the screen. So, Peden seems to have some of Cody's traits, but fans see Christine's influence shining through. Both Cody and his son seem to find themselves drawn to the camera. But fans see a huge difference in how they use the spotlight. Sister Wives. Cody losing spotlight to Peden. Peden Brown doesn't whine. If there's something he messed up, he owns it. His declaration this week on slapping his sister seems to back up the fans who see him this way. Soap Dirt recently wrote about that incident. Fans suggest that Cody Brown tends to whine when things don't go his way. Also, Peden doesn't come off as a young man who needs a few hours in front of the mirror before showing his face. His dad is notorious for his time-involved hair care routine. But most likely what draws the fans to Peden is his tendency to spill family secrets. 
One of the more recent reveals coming from this son had to do with Papa Brown. After all the rigmarole Cody put the family through over COVID rules, Peden offers. A shocker, his father isn't vaccinated. This is what he recently revealed about the man bent on following all the CDC rules in an interview. So, it sounds as if Peden's 15 minutes of fame sashaying around in a t-shirt changed things. He appears to be the sister wives go-to person for the latest scoop on the family. While he's spent very little time on camera for the TLC series, his self-posted videos go viral today. Who needs a family spokesperson or a PR agent when you have? Peden Brown Sister Wives stars Cody Brown and Robin Brown seem to have hosted a sleepover last weekend. It looks like a few family members showed up for a visit and crashed on an air mattress. Now, photos from this visit seem to tell a story for the Brown family. Sister Wives Who visits Robin Brown and Cody Brown? The pictures from this visit were posted online recently. So, it seems safe to say these folks don't take sides in the Cody Brown and Christine Brown divorce. Not that Christine would want them to. She's been very open about harboring no ill will for her family members. She wants everyone to love and respect each other. So, it looks like her daughter McKelty Brown Padron did what her mom wanted. She's kept her relationships with her father and his youngest wife Robin. So, from the looks of these images taken over last weekend, the newly divorced wife got what she wished for. There, on this air mattress is Ariella Brown and Solomon Brown. These were Robin Brown's two youngest children with Cody. But the little person between Robin's kids offers a hint to who is visiting this sister wife's home. That is none other than the adorable Avalon Brown. Robin and Cody's kids are aunt and uncle to Avalon Padron. This little princess is the daughter of McKelty and Tony Padron. Time goes by quickly as Avalon turns one year old next month. So, She's hanging out with Cody's son who is her uncle, Solomon. Avalon's second playmate is not only a playmate but she's also her Aunt Ariella. Next, is the location of where this visit takes place. Tony and McKelty live near Christine in Utah, so you might wonder if the visit is the other way around. Did their sister wives dad and Robin drive to Utah to visit them? That is a possibility until you see that the location says Flagstaff. So, it looks as if McKelty packed up her little family and road tripped it to the sister wives patriarch's house. The one he shares with Robin. Brown. Recently, Peden Brown said he's not as close with his dad as some of his other siblings are today. Well, it looks like we know at least one of the other siblings who remained close with Cody Brown. Sister wives. No grudges here. Many people believe that Cody and his fourth wife Robin did a number on Christine Brown. Fans of the Sister Wives show often blame Robin Brown for all the trouble in the other marriages. Since Cody brought Robin into the family, things often appeared strained. So, when his third wife up and left, many of the viewers felt Cody hit rock bottom. Most fans believe his dedication was to Robin. Instead of dividing it up among the four wives, Robin was always first. This is also something Christine Brown talked about as well. She felt Robin Brown took her place completely. So, this wife struggled with her position within the sister wives clan. It took Cody Brown telling this wife that he no longer desired intimacy with her to prompt her to leave. But she holds no grudges, and she doesn't want any of their family members to hold grudges either. So, it seems as if McKelty followed her mom's lead and had a visit with dad last weekend. It looks like the kids had a ball on that air mattress. It was running out of air but that didn't stop the fun. What do you think about this video? Please told on comment box also subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching this video.